Hello and welcome to 266 Royal Glen Drive and this property is listed in Fallbrook and it is a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, just slightly under 2,000 square feet. And before we head in, I'm just going to show you this beautiful neighborhood. It's located at the end of a cul-de-sac, which makes it really nice if you have small children. Not a lot of through traffic here. All right, let's head on in and have a look. And it also is fully fenced. Nice real green grass in the front and backyard. Okay, so upon entry, you have your dining room, which is straight ahead and your living room area off to the left, right by the front door. The stairs lead up to the three bedrooms. Off to the left of the stairs is the kitchen. So I think we'll just head in there first and I'll show you that. Here's looking back at the front door. All right, let's head on into the kitchen. So here straight ahead is your dishwasher, your big sink area, lots of nice cabinets, your gas range and your oven below. You will need to bring a refrigerator. And as you can see, that's straight into the dining room where we just were. Dining living room combo, which is really great. And then off to my right is a really nice walk-in pantry. Plenty of room in here for your items. And over to the left of the kitchen area, you have this little nook which is perfect for a kitchen table or some bar stools. Nice big open kitchen concept. And this room is like a family room area with a nice gas fireplace. So let's just head down the hall and we'll go outside in just a moment. So heading down the hall, off to my left is a walk-in shower and sink. And then over to my right is a closet. So it's just the under the stairs type of closet, like a coat closet. And you can see the stairs leading upstairs right to my right. And straight ahead is the laundry. Off to my left is one bedroom downstairs. Has these nice big double doors, so it could be used as an office or a guest room. This bedroom looks like you could easily fit a queen bed. Double might be a little bit more spacious. And here is the walk-in closet. And let's check out the laundry room. So you will need to bring a washer and dryer, plenty of storage up above, which is great. And off to my right, you have more storage right here. This would be great for an extra refrigerator if you had that. And let's check out the garage. Nice, big, spacious garage for two cars. Let me just go ahead and open it so we can get a little bit better light in here. I like that you have a workbench area right over there and some extra storage shelves right there. This door goes out to the side yard. Again, fully fenced backyard, so no worries there. Little bit of extra storage up above, which is really handy. 
All right, let's go check out the backyard before we head upstairs. Well, going back through the laundry, off to the right now is that guest room downstairs. Coat closet to the left, bathroom now to the right. And back into the family room area, which is right off of the kitchen. And let's head outside. I like this nice big covered patio out here. And let me just show you where I just walked through is right there. I'm going to show you how this is fully fenced over on this side so you can store your trash cans right there so you easy access to take it right out to the street on trash day. And let's head over here. So this will be staying, which is really nice. Grassy area down below. There's a little alley in the back. So sometimes when street parking is a little too much, you could possibly park here. I'm not 100% on that, so you may need to check that out. But there is a gate, so that is nice. Little horseshoe down there, if you can see that. So that's really fun. see this side yard again fully fenced just a beautiful property all right let's head on inside and check out the upstairs Let's walk back through the kitchen and the dining room area, the living room, and we're going to head upstairs. So when I come up the stairs, we have the primary off to the left and two other bedrooms to the right with a Jack and Jill bathroom, but let's head into the primary. So as you can see, this is quite a nice big primary bedroom. Easily can fit a king bed in here with no problem. I love the ceiling fan. Plenty of space in here. You have your toilet space right behind the door. And this big, nice walk-in shower with a little bench. That's built in. I really like that. And also you have some built-ins right here for your linens. A nice big walk-in closet. So let's just have a quick look at that. And then I'll show you the sink area. This is a really big closet. Nice, big, huge closet with so lots of storage in here. That also has a safe. And looking back into the bathroom, as you can see, there's nice two big sinks that are separated. And again, your walk-in shower. Okay, leaving the primary bathroom and bedroom, we're gonna head into the hallway Looking down onto the living and dining room area. So before we head in the two bedrooms, you can see there's extra storage out here for your linens as well. And let's turn to the left and we're gonna come into the first bedroom, technically the second, my apologies. Nice big closet, nice ceiling fan. And this does have the Jack and Jill bathroom 
but let's just have a quick peek in the closet so you can see how big that is. It's a nice big deep closet, plenty of room in there. And let's head on into this Jack and Jill bathroom. So it just has the one sink and toilet and the bathtub shower right behind the door. And heading into the third bedroom upstairs. And this bedroom overlooks the front. The last second bedroom overlooked the side yard. This bedroom looks like you could easily fit a queen size bed. Possibly a full size would give you a little bit of extra room for your nightstands. Let's check out the closet. Nice big closet. All right, well, let's just do a quick recap. So leaving the third bedroom upstairs, the Jack and Jill bathroom that is shared. The second bedroom upstairs that I first showed you of the two anyway. And then the primary bedroom with that beautiful walk-in shower and the two sinks. This bedroom overlooks the backyard. And let's head downstairs. I love the stained glass windows. You can see the light refracting on the floor. It's so pretty. Back by the front door, and we're gonna turn to the left. And this is the guest room downstairs, so that's four bedrooms total. The laundry space, the garage straight ahead, the extra space to the right for a possible refrigerator. The guest bathroom off to the right. The family room area and the big, nice open kitchen. Just a beautiful home. So please feel free to apply ahead of time. Otherwise, I will get you set up with a showing as soon as possible. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye now.